Hey guys, Ashley D. Will here, and today I'm going over a quick uh, little sheet I wrote up this morning for our class tomorrow night, and it's to contrast commitment versus surrender. And I don't want to get any comments or anything about semantics, okay? I'm not going to um, reply if you send me those, because this isn't that's not what this is about. This is a heart issue and I'm just bringing this up for your time with the Lord. You can do whatever you want. I hope you're doing what he's telling you to and I hope you're doing what the Holy Spirit's telling you to because I'm not your teacher. The Holy Spirit is your teacher. I, I have the gift of teaching and I just share what and teach what the Lord has taught me. So you take it and put it through the filter of the Holy Spirit and let him teach you. Okay so this again is an issue of the heart and we're talking about commitment versus surrender. Now I want you to listen when I read these definitions of commitment. I want you to listen for the law because the word commitment is suggestive of the law. And then I'm going to read the definitions of surrender. Then I want you to listen for the grace of God in the definitions of surrender. And because the word surrender and its meaning suggests receiving the grace of God. Okay, so the first uh, comparison we're going to make is, is commitment, and it is suggestive of the law, and I want you to listen for that, and I, I compare it to a chicken who is <clears throat> giving an egg, like if, if a family on the farm was going to have breakfast one morning, the chicken, what does he, she do? She gives an egg, or two eggs or six eggs, or 12 eggs, if everybody's having an omelet, she may give more than that. And so she gives a major contribution, right? So let's think about that in these, these definitions. So a commitment is a pledge, or a promise, or an obligation. Okay, again, listen for the law in these, these definitions. Number two, an agreement, or a pledge to do something in the future. Number three, an engagement or obligation that restricts freedom of action. <clears throat> Another one, the act of committing, pledging, or engaging oneself. A willingness to give your time and energy to something that you believe in. A promise or firm decision to do something and an obligation to do something. So do you hear the law in that? Do you hear, I'm going to do this for God. I'm going to work for God. I promise to work for God my whole life. There is a, um, an underlying suggestion of the law in those definitions. And again, I'm, I'm comparing it to a chicken contributing eggs to the breakfast. Major contribution, okay? Now let's look at surrender. Surrender is suggestive of grace, and so I want you to listen to these definitions, and again, this is all about your heart and where you are with the Lord, and I compare the surrender, uh, instead of the chicken contributing eggs, like with the commitment, surrender I compare to the pig with a full surrender, and he gives his whole life because they have to butcher him to make the bacon, right? Okay, so listen for God's grace that's suggestive in the word surrender. Sorry about the dogs barking. Um, okay, to give in to. To stop fighting and admit defeat. Romans 7. To yield or resign in favor of another. To submit to the power of another, especially after resisting. Giving up. To relinquish possession or control of something to another. To cease resistance to and submit to authority. And then one definition said, if you surrender to an experience or emotion, you stop trying to prevent it or control it. Okay, do you hear the grace of God in those definitions of surrender? Well... I do, and I just thought it would be interesting to share it with you. Some people say I'm committed to Christ, you know, 
And I don't, I think some of those people don't realize that they are putting themselves under the law. And uh, it's very easy to miss the Holy Spirit when you're walking under the law. Because the Holy Spirit is not legalistic and does not submit to that. So surrender is different. It's, um, you know, you wave the white flag and you say, I cannot do this, Lord, you do it through me. And then that's a whole another ball game. That's, that's, you know, a deal breaker for the law. You take yourself out from under the law and you let Christ live him, his life through you. And there is a scripture to go with this, Romans 4, 4 through 5. And uh, verse 4 goes with the commitment and verse 5 goes with surrender. So this says, Now to a laborer, his wages are not counted as a favor or a gift, but as an obligation, something owed to him. Verse 5, but to one who, not working by the law, trusts, believes fully in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is credited to him as righteousness and right standing acceptable to God. Okay, this is just a little meditative, you know, kind of devotional thing uh, that you can go over. And I'll put these... Um, my notes in the notes underneath the video. Okay, so this is commitment versus surrender. Are you committed to the Lord, working hard for Him, or have you surrendered to Him and asked Him to live His life through you? Okay, just a question for, for you to ask in your quiet time with the Lord. Okay, you guys have a great day and God bless you.